Just a real quick vid. Uh, Peter Molman is uh, rebuilding one of these Bentwood rockers right now. And uh, I made a comment on there that I'd, I'd refinished one. Oh God, how long ago was that? 97. <laughs> Yeah, that's this one here. I found this, this was in pieces. There wasn't two pieces stuck together um, in a trash pile. I was helping a buddy clean up a piece of property he bought way out in the high desert. And, well, the thing was just four big trash piles and, and uh, 20 something cars. <laughs> it's a lot of work. He made good money selling the house when he when he picked, uh, finished though. Uh, anyway, this was uh, this was one of my payments. That and uh, my share of a keg of beer he purchased for the event. But anyway, Anyway, and then uh, I liked it so much after I was finished that um, I was just I was at a flea market and I saw this one and uh, it had just come in not a flea market uh, antique store but uh, you know kind of a low rent antique store to be quite honest with you and it came in on a truck and the uh, lady that was there didn't know what they were worth and uh, I, I got it for 40 bucks so <laughs> That's a win. <laughs> that was tons of work. That was no work. <laughs> um, I have not recaned this. That is the caning that came on it when I bought it. There's a hole in it. You can probably see it right there. Uh, this one I did recane. Uh, there was there was no caning. Um, seven layers of paint and varnish and oddly enough a still quite damp layer of shellac close to the core. Which is probably one of the reasons that the wood stayed in good shape. The only problem that I had was I had a crack here and it wasn't a huge issue not the cleanest repair job either to be quite honest with you but um, you know it is what it is and that was cracked here Oops. it was cracked here as well so anyway but I was able to glue that back together now something that's developed since then and it probably has something to do with the fact that it screwed in kind of on the crack there it was there and then I moved it down there and it was tight for a little while but anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull these out and uh, drill through and do uh, and do wood plugs so and it'll be it'll be solid and tight forever so anyway that's the only wear and tear since 97 um, I sit in it all the time uh, I sit here and read paper in the morning and um, it's just it's a wonderful chair to sit in now if it's uh, if you don't have long legs, there's a long throw between here and the back of the chair. You uh, you may want to get cushions for it. I don't know how tall a fella you are, or if you've got somebody short in the house. Um, but back when I was married, I had a I had a set of cushions because uh, my my ex-wife she was just too short and uh, it was uncomfortable and she never sat in it. Maybe that's one of the other reasons it's in such good shape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Troll Pepper out. So anyway, uh, you asked for a photo. I don't know, photo, photo schmoto. Uh, pictures say a thousand words. Videos say a million, right? So there they are, my Bentwood Rockers. The one I rebuilt. The one I bought for hella cheap. Okay, that's it. See ya. I cannot give up a fight.